without an understanding of how to use placement modifiers on your Amazon ads, somebody else is taking all the best clicks and leaving you with the crappiest, most expensive, least converting ones. In other words, if you don't know how to use placement adjusters, you are losing profit every day with your Amazon PPC. Now there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. And I'm gonna walk you through the right way. By the end of this video, we're gonna turn you into a freaking placement adjusting warlock so you can scoop up all the least expensive and best clicks and leave your competitors all the crappiest ones. Because that's what we do here, guys, on this channel. We create PPC warlocks. So first of all, when you're setting up a campaign, this is where you see the placement adjusters, right? I click create campaign. I'm gonna add a product. I'm gonna scroll down. Say I'm doing keyword targeting. Enter my keyword. Pass negative keywords. Pass bidding strategy. This is bid adjustments, otherwise known as bid modifiers or placement modifiers. Now, there's three main bid adjustments that you can use. There's top of search, rest of search, and product pages. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, let's go over to Amazon. Now, say I'm searching for melatonin gummies, right? Well, my sponsored product ads can show up one of three places. One is right at the top of search right here. So all four of these ads are top of search sponsored product results. The next place is rest of search, which is down here. These two are rest of search and everything else when I scroll would be considered rest of search. The only thing that's considered top of search is these first results that show up right above the fold. Then the third place my ads can show up is if I click into one of these products, you'll see sponsored results on the product page in multiple different areas. All of these results are sponsored. And that's what these three areas mean. It means top of search, rest of search, and product pages because these are the three places that your ads will show whether or not you target a keyword or a product. This is sometimes not understood properly. Even if you target a keyword, your ad could show up on product pages. Even if you target a product, your ad could show up in keywords in top of search and rest of search. Now what these placement modifiers do is it allows Amazon to increase your bid from that bid that you put further up when you created the ad, a certain percentage for just that placement. So why would you do that? Well, top of search, for example, has the highest click-through rate by far and the highest conversion rate usually, but it's also the most expensive. So that's a good placement if you're really trying to drive rank for like a very important keyword, a lot of times you're gonna focus more on top of search because you get better click-through rates and conversion rates, and therefore, you are more likely to drive rank for that keyword because people search the keyword, they click you at a high rate, and then they buy it. Rest of search has its own strengths. It tends to have a lower click-through rate, but it also tends to be less expensive on a cost-per-click basis, sometimes way less expensive than top of search, so sometimes you get better economics out of it. So if you're more concerned with the economics of the campaign rather than its ranking impact, rest of search can be a good place to go. Product pages, on the other hand, has less of an impact on rank, the least out of the three, but it tends to be the cheapest clicks, usually by far. So a lot of times this can be your leanest, most efficient way, but you're not gonna get as much sales volume from it you're not gonna get as high a click-through rate from it, and you're not gonna get as much ranking impact from it. Okay, now for some, some up-to-date 2025 stuff. We got a new placement modifier here, okay? Hot, fresh off the press. This is the business buyer placement modifier. This is new, guys. You're not gonna find this, this juicy content anywhere else, okay? So this placement modifier allows you to increase the bids for business placements and business buyers. And the reason that this matters is that if you're a brand that you sometimes get big orders for businesses, not individuals, they can be much larger order quantity and they can tend to purchase more frequently repeat purchases. So sometimes you want to provide extra incentive to reach these business buyers and this allows you to do that. But the main three that most of you guys, 99% of you guys are gonna be worried about on a day-to-day -day basis is these three, top of search, rest of search, and product pages. Now, how should you set these up? When should you use them? So, first off, the top of search placement modifier, this is what you're gonna to wanna to do when you're really trying to drive ranking. Now, what you wanna do is start with just 20 to 40%. You don't wanna start, with, so this could go up to 900%. The max is 900%. You don't wanna start with 900%, you actually used to be able to do that, but recently that just doesn't work anymore. It like messes up Amazon's algorithm to think that it could nearly 10X your bid and it it can just mess up the economics or it can cause you not to be shown properly. So just start at like 
30, 40% is fine. And then increase it as time goes on if that placement is doing well or it's doing what you want it to do. So the top of search is when you're really concerned with driving organic rank for a particular product. And it's not always gonna be the lowest A cost, but it is gonna be the highest click-through rate and it's gonna have the most dramatic impact on your ranking for that keyword. Rest of search, you're usually not gonna boost that right off the bat unless you have previous data to support that. That's gonna come later on when you do the bid adjustment optimizations over time. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Product pages is basically the same. Unless you have data prior to setting up the campaign, you're not gonna start with a bid modifier there. You're going to increase or decrease the bid modifier over time as you optimize the campaign as part of your bidding optimization strategy for the campaign. So how do you optimize these bid placement modifiers over time? Well, let's click into a campaign and find out. Now, first of all, the most important thing to know about these is that they're based on the campaign level, not on the ad group or the keyword level. And for this reason, when you have a keyword that's really important, you wanna put that keyword all alone, isolated by itself in a lonely little campaign just made for it because that way you can adjust the placements specifically only for that keyword and those keyword results. If you don't do this and you group all your important keywords together, then certain keywords with certain buyer intents you're gonna be adjusting alongside all the other keywords and you can't separate them out. Sometimes one placement works really well for a certain keyword or you wanna drive rank for a certain keyword and some placement doesn't work as well or you don't care as much about driving rank for that keyword. So for very important keywords, they need their own campaigns and this is the reason why. Now you can see I'm on the campaign level, haven't clicked into an ad group, haven't clicked into any targets. I'm on the campaign level here, and this is where I see bid adjustments. So I'm gonna click bid adjustments. Now here's where we see our three primary bid adjusting options. We have top of search, rest of search, and product pages. You can see we've already made some bid adjustments as we've been optimizing this campaign. So how do I optimize these? Well, I put the date range last 30 days just so you guys can see enough data to be statistically significant for me to use this example for you. But normally you're gonna to wanna to do this with the most recent data that is enough data for it to be statistically significant for you to optimize. So if you're getting a lot of sales, you could do this with just a couple of days of data. If you're not getting that many sales, you might have to wait a couple of days or even a couple of weeks for enough data to come in for you to know that you have had enough sales and enough sessions for you to make a good decision. If you've only gotten one order and that's at like a higher A cost than you'd like, well, you don't know really yet after just one order if that A cost is really what it's gonna be. That was just one random guy who purchased your product. You have to wait for a couple orders to come in for you to actually have statistically significant data for you to make these decisions. But let's take a look at what's going on here. So we've got top of search, rest of search, and product pages. Here's my A cost. That's gonna be one of the important things I'm looking at, but more important than that is the number of orders that came in. So first I wanna see what's producing the most actual sales. And top of search for us, unsurprisingly, is producing the most sales by a multiple. And it also happens to be the second lowest A cost. The lowest A cost is actually the placement that's producing the least number of sales, which is product pages, which is very interesting. And rest of search in our case is producing the highest A cost and the second highest amount of sales. It's actually pretty close to the product pages number of sales. Product pages is 17, rest of search is producing 19 sales and top of search is producing 68 sales. So it's more than the other two combined in this case. So what are we gonna do in this case? Well, first of all, you might say, okay, up the bid modifier for product pages because those are the cheapest sales. We're paying the least amount of ad spend to get the most amount of ad revenue from that placement, so why would we not up that? Well, in this case, this is one particular keyword that we're mostly just trying to drive organic rank for and we're doing a good job. This campaign has actually been very successful in driving organic rank for this keyword. So this is working. However, the ranking impact is coming from top of search and rest of search, but it comes even stronger from top of search. And you can see the difference in click-through rate here is crazy. There's a 19% click-through rate for top of search and a 1% click-through rate for rest of search. So that's a huge difference, right? And since top of search produces the most ranking impact and it's a lower A cost, we're gonna up the bid modifier here by 30%. And this is basically part of your duties as an Amazon seller is to go through your campaigns and constantly be adjusting the bid modifiers based on what placement is doing the best from an A cost perspective 
and which ones are driving the most sales from keywords that you're trying to organically rank for. Now, what do you do if you want to lower the amount of traffic going to one of the placements that's already at a zero bid modifier? Well, what you do in that case is just lower the bid in the campaign altogether and then up the other two bid modifiers. So basically they end up staying the same effectively, but the one you wanted to lower goes down because you lowered the bid. That's the strategy you wanna use there. Smart bid adjustments is one of the primary strategies we used to double the profit of this brand when we partnered with them within one single month. Their bids were all over the place. There was no placement adjusters or very bad placement adjusters. And we cleaned that up and we were able to double the profit just by getting more lean, inexpensive, efficient clicks to the campaigns. So this stuff is powerful, guys. It can have a huge impact. If you're not doing this right now, learning how to do it right is gonna give you a massive edge in this market. Bro, I'm glad this channel is small, dude. Fuck it, keeps it intimate, y'all. It's just me and you here. You guys could probably fit in my office here with me. And I like that, it's good. Keeps the competition low. I answer every single comment, so anything that sparked an idea or a question in your head, comment below this video, I will answer it. That's one of the great things about having a real small channel. Hey, let's keep it a secret, right? I, I, actually, no, I'm supposed to be telling you guys to share and like and subscribe and all that stuff, but whatever. I got another great video for you if you like this one, which is my guide on bidding. This video tells you exactly what to bid, how to change and adjust your bids, and how to optimize campaigns using bidding optimization. It also goes through every different type of bidding from up and down to fixed to down only. So check that one out here and I'll see you guys over there.